I'd like to give you a week five update on my modified intermittent fasting diet that I have been doing for my psoriasis. Let's go ahead and jump in and look at the pictures to start here. So this photo here on the left was taken a week ago. This was taken just today here on the right. I'll slide them in here so they're closer together. So it's actually improving. Now you might not be able to see it at first glance here, but maybe I should even zoom in even more. What you'll see here is, well, let me get this a little bit closer here for you. What you can see here on these spots is, see there's no real brown outside um, as far as the psoriasis spot goes, right? It's pretty much all red and flaky. Now on this one, it's reducing as far as the entire spot itself. I'm zoomed in a little more on this one, so it's not looking like it's necessarily smaller, but it is. Uh, but it's got more of a brown on the outside and then lesser redness on the inside. And that is the course that my psoriasis takes when it disappears. So, and it does take weeks for it to disappear when it comes to a spot that is reducing and going away. So realistically, you know, this can take a month or more for the entire spot to disappear, but it is slowly going away. It feels better, it looks better, and I am seeing results and benefits from being on the modified intermittent fasting diet. I feel good, I've lost another pound, so I'm down seven pounds total, and it's fairly easy to stick to. So Monday and Thursday, I limit my calories, and then I do that intermittent fasting. I've got a video that really goes over it in detail. I really just wanted to give you the update here on how I feel. So I'm feeling good, I'm looking good. I will continue it. It is going to be a 12-week cycle, right? So three months. I will continue to give weekly updates on that as I progress here. So again, my name is Drew. I've had psoriasis for 20 years. I am sharing this here, my journey, on this channel so that you can follow along and see if these diets that we've all been told by doctors and professionals that are working for their patients on the real life study here, actually putting that into practice here to see if it actually works. So again, thank you very much for all of your comments and joining me along on this journey. Hopefully you find some value and help in what I am doing here. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you're up for that or interested in seeing more. I'll see you in the next one.